Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. On 5th February 2024, the IIT Kanpur has informed via its official X handle that it has achieved a major milestone with India's first hypervelocity expansion tunnel test facility. It is a major achievement that puts India amongst only a handful of countries with such advanced hypersonic testing capability. The facility is being called S2 and uh, nicknamed as uh, Jigar Thanda. It is a 24 meter long facility indigenously designed and developed over a period of three years with funding and support from Aeronautical Research and Development Board and the Department of Science and Technology, Government of India. It presents a tremendous achievement of IIT Kanpur and a major capacity boost for India's space and defense sectors. With sophisticated hypervelocity testing capability now available domestically, India is better positioned to develop advanced hypersonic technologies and systems. This facility is capable of generating flight speeds between 3 to 10 km per second. In terms of Mach, it is 8.74 to 29.15 Mach approximately. It can simulate the hypersonic conditions encountered during atmospheric entry, making it a valuable test facility for the ongoing mission of ISRO and DRDO, which includes Gaganyaan, relaunch vehicles, and hypersonic cruise missiles. The existing facilities, which is at Indian Institute of Science, Bengaluru, and Vikram Sarabhai Space Center, Tiruvanantapuram, have limitation. They can test only up to 4 km per second, that is 11.66 Mach. To better understand the importance of Jigar Thanda, let's take an example of Gaganyaan. Its re-entry in the Earth's atmosphere will have velocity of 7 km per second or 20.4 Mach. Now this cannot be tested in the existing facility and ISRO has to be dependent on other agency to gather the aerodynamics data for such hypersonic velocity. Apart from ISRO, this will also accelerate the development of hypersonic cruise missiles by DRDO. DRDO is also working on developing a hypersonic technology demonstration vehicle or HSTDV, which is powered by a scramjet engine and will be used to develop hypersonic cruise missiles. The development of HSTDV based cruise missile has commenced under the project name Vishnu. The hypersonic cruise missile or HCM will be mounted on a booster with six control surfaces. This booster is expected to be derived from K4 missiles rather than Agni missile which was originally used in HSTDV trial of 2020. The upper part of HSTDV will have four control surfaces. The missile will closely resemble Russian Zircon and Boeing's X-51 wave rider. DIDO is developing two types of scramjet engine. These are air breathing engine with active cooled scramjet engine and long duration scramjet propulsion system for hypersonic vehicles. There are two variants of hypersonic missiles likely to be developed under Project Vishnu. The first one is going to be surface to surface missile with a range of around 2500 km and the second one is going to be a smaller and compact version of air-launched hypersonic cruise missile with a range in excess of 700 km. The expected speed of these missiles will range from Mach 7 to 10. DIDO is also developing hypersonic glide vehicle. The objective is to develop a methodology for designing a wave rider based hypersonic glide vehicle configuration. The hypersonic glide vehicle will feature reaction control system. DIDO is developing advanced materials for a scramjet engine which can withstand the thermodynamic stress and endothermic fuels for high temperature application which will power the hypersonic missiles. DIDO is working on many other technologies such as high temperature materials, ultra high temperature resistant coatings, multi-domain operations for hypersonic missiles, multi-radar signal assessment for supersonic and hypersonic missiles, additive manufacturing technology for thermal production system, to name a few, which will be used in various hypersonic missiles under development. This was today's update. 
please let us know your views on this in comment section if you like the video do not forget to like share and subscribe with this i would like to say goodbye and jai hind we'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector